What's up guys, Let's Chat 6 here again. Today we're gonna be taking a look at how you can enable custom songs and crossplay on your Quest or PC version of Beat Saber. When the multiplayer update dropped, there was a lot of confusion surrounding custom songs on Quest. And the reason for that is because BMBF by default deactivates the online features of Beat Saber. This is why your leaderboards may have shut down, for example. Now, with the Beat Together mod, you can have multiplayer and custom songs at the same time. Not only that, but Oculus and Steam versions can play together now. If you love VR as much as I do, please continue on this journey with me and hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into it. So before we get too far into this, let's talk about some things. First of all, when you download this mod, Quick Play is gone. You will not have access to Quick Play. The only way to join a room is with a code that you exchange with someone else. In addition, you will no longer have access to playing with those who don't have this mod. So keep that in mind as well. Another very important piece of information that you need to be careful of while you're using this mod, everybody needs to make sure that that Quest player has the same custom songs that you're picking. If you don't do this, you can soft lock their system and cause some problems for them. On the bright side, the Beat Together Discord server that I'm gonna link down below has a multiplayer discussion channel, so you can go ahead and figure out that stuff there. Also, the developers informed me that they plan on adding automatic downloads to Quest in the future, so that's something to look forward to. As for the PC version, I wouldn't say there's issues per se, but this mod is not intended to add custom songs. For that, you'll have to add multiplayer extensions in addition to this. And I go over that in this video. Now that we have all that out of the way, I'm going to start with how to set this up on a quest. Feel free to skip ahead to the PC version if that's what you're here for. Okay, so the first step here is to have the latest version of BMBF installed. So in order to do that, I'm going to put this link in the description below. You'll go to bmbf.dev stable so that you can get the latest version. And you're gonna download this com.weloveoculus.bmbf.apk. Once that finishes downloading, go ahead and open SideQuest while your Quest is plugged in. If you haven't set that up, I'm gonna link the video in the top right corner real quick. Perfect, so now that we're in SideQuest, make sure that you have your Oculus Quest being recognized. The way to know that is that it will have a green dot up here in the corner. Once you figure that out, we're gonna go up to this APK installer and find your BMBF download. So I have it right here in my downloads folder. Once you're done doing that, go ahead and unplug your quest and put it on. You're gonna need to for the next couple steps. Inside your quest, go to your library and select unknown sources from the top right drop down menu. You may have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find it. Then find BMBF in your list of unknown sources. Go ahead and follow the instructions given and you'll be able to get to the end of that setup. After that, go to the Tools tab at the top and find out what your unique URL is. Type that into your browser and you'll see the PC version of BMBF. This is how we're going to get Beat Together onto your Quest. Once you've done that, you can see that you can access all the same tools that you could inside of the Quest. So first of all, make sure you're logged into Beast Saber here and go ahead and bookmark a couple of songs using this bookmark here. That's how you're gonna save them to your own playlist and it'll download automatically to your Beat Saber game. So go over to playlists once you're done doing that and you'll see there's a bookmarks option and you'll find them all there. Going back to this BMBF PC version, go to your Sync Saber tab Make sure your username is there. You can pick and choose which songs you use, but I always stick with bookmarks because, for example, people I'm following, I might not like their maps every single time, so I'm very picky on that. And a good starting point is 200 for me, but make sure that you calculate how many songs you've bookmarked just to make sure you leave room for all of them. Once that's done, go ahead and queue downloads. Once you do that, the last very important step is to sync to Beat Saber. Finally, open your Beat Saber game and click on the little arrow with a music note. If you see your custom levels under there, you've successfully gotten them set up. So here I am on the Beat Together Community Discord server. This is where you're gonna get the downloads for both PC and Quest. So you'll go down to this install instructions channel and they have clear instructions for both versions. Now that we have BMBF downloaded, you can go ahead and download this file here and upload that zip that downloads to BMBF. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and download and there's your zip folder. Now that you have that Beat Together folder downloaded, go ahead and drag it over to this upload files box here. If it's not working, make sure that you have a green Wi-Fi symbol here. That means that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Quest and they're able to see each other. 
Once that's finished, you'll see this mod installed message here. And once again, make sure you sync to Beat Saber and it says Beat Saber synced. So you should now be able to go on multiplayer, set up a lobby with somebody else that has the same songs, and join each other's rooms. Again, reminder that this does not work with quick play. Also, make sure that you never try to uninstall Beat Saber while you have BMBF installed. This can cause issues for you, lock up your game, and force you to factory reset to get your Beat Saber back. So always do it through side quests. Now let's take a look at how to do this on a PC. Here I am on the multiplayer extensions GitHub page. Since the multiplayer extensions mod is still in progress, it has a home here on GitHub. So first of all, you have some mod requirements that need to be filled before you can use multiplayer extensions. So that includes BS Utils, Songcore, Beat Saber Sharp, Beat Saber Markup, language and Sira util. So let's take care of that first. Here I have Mod Assistant. If you haven't set this up yet, I'll link a video in the top right corner to help you do that. So my mods are kind of out of date. I'm going to select the necessary mods and then click install or update in the bottom right corner. So first of all, we have BS Utils here, Songcore up here, Beat Saber Sharp here, Beat Saber Markup Language here, and Sira Util here. Now that I have all of those selected, I'm going to go ahead and install or update. Just takes a couple seconds and it says finished installing mods. That's how you know you're finished with this part. Back to the GitHub page, now that you've met all of the requirements, we can go ahead and get started with multiplayer extensions. Here in the instructions, you can see that they give you the most recent build here in this link, but you need to be logged into GitHub in order to download the build that you need. So we're going to go there, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see this multiplayer extensions download here under artifacts. So click on that, and it should start downloading like you see here. Now we have to locate your Beat Saber folder. So you're going to need an extracting tool like 7-Zip in order to get your zip folder extracted into the right place. So assuming you have one, click this, and extract it to the Beat Saber folder. You'll typically find that under program files. Open your computer, whatever the name of it is, program files x86 scroll down to steam scroll down again to steam apps common and there's your beat saber this file needs to be extracted into the plugins folder let's locate that here and we're gonna hit ok just a little nitpick in case it messes things up it generates another plugins folder so open that and move these multiplayer files into the main plugins folder then you can go ahead and get rid of that extra one now you can see these two files here, multiplayer extensions, DLL, and PDB, and that means you did it correctly. Now we're back on the Beat Together Community Discord server and on the Install Instructions channel. Once again, we're going to read this pinned post here that talks about PC installation. Because we have multiplayer extensions now, we can go ahead and disregard this first message talking about how it only implements crossplay with Oculus. It says there's no support for custom songs, but we took care of that already. Already. Again, they're talking about multiplayer extensions in the second row. You also have the Beat Saber server browser as an option to browse private lobbies, meaning if somebody has an active lobby, you can find it using that. This link here is going to take us to another GitHub page. This time, as you can see, we're on the Beat Together one. Under the installation instructions, it says to download the latest mod from our releases. Once you get the zip file downloaded, you're going to extract it to your plugins folder once again. Here we go. Download the zip file. Open Open it up with your extractor, select it, extract, and go find your Beat Saber folder again. Just a reminder, you can find it from here, your PC, your C drive usually. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Beat Saber. Then you go down to this plugins folder. Something I forgot to mention earlier, there's another plugins folder that shows up under Beat Saber Data. Don't put it there. Make sure that it's in the main plugins folder. We found it here and we're gonna hit OK. Once again, we wanna make sure it worked. So now that I have it open, I'm just gonna refresh. And again, it generated another plugin folder. So do the same thing, move it into the main plugins and delete that old plugins folder. Now you see beattogether.dll show up here. So you've done everything correctly. Okay, so I'm on the Steam version now, and assuming it worked correctly, you'll see this modded online option. So click that. If you have a code, obviously join like you would before, otherwise create your own server and have your friend join you. Again, if you're playing with a Quest user, make sure they have the same map before you start a song with them, or it could lock them up. So I'm gonna enter our code and bam so there's my friend and it worked great so you can see i'm playing now with a quest user 
If you go into your PC version of Beat Saber and you notice that there's no modded online option, then this step may help you. Otherwise, if it works fine for you, you're all done. In order to fix that issue, we're going to go into Options, and there's a button here that says Uninstall BSIPA. Click that. The next step after that is to install or update again. Go into your library and launch Beat Saber once and then close it. Then go back to your mod assistant and click install or update again. What this does is wipes out any old mods that you had from before that are no longer functional and gives you a clean slate. However, this means that you now have to add multiplayer extensions again. So if you go back earlier in the video and follow those steps, you should have a working game now. So there you have it. That's how you're gonna add custom songs and crossplay to your Beat Saber game. If you run into any issues, please feel free to go to the Beat Together Discord server. They have some great staff there that are very helpful and even helped me through this process. Thank you to my patron, Avelino Sanchez, for supporting the channel. If you'd like to find out what additional benefits you can get from joining my Patreon, please check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon down below so you can be notified for future videos like this. Thanks. Bye.